This is the Mercury 6 Enterprise Class RFID Reader from ThingMagic. ThingMagic claims that if I develop an application for this reader, it will work across their entire family of RFID readers, a capability we've not seen in any other RFID reader portfolio. Hi, I'm Lou Sirico, and in this edition of the RFID Network, we're going to put ThingMagic's claims to the test. Stay tuned. I'm with Ken Lynch of Thing Magic. Ken, welcome to the RFID Network. Thank you, Lou. Good to be here. So, Ken, I've been using the Mercury line of readers since the M3 back in 2003. So I'm really excited about the M6. Please tell us about it. So the Mercury 6 or M6 is an enterprise grade UHF uh, RFID reader. Uh, with its small form factor, it allows for the integration of RFID into a wide range of enterprise and commercial applications. From a feature perspective, it has four antenna ports uh, on the top of the unit. It's got an option for integrated Wi-Fi. On the bottom, multiple GPIO ports for uh, data access and control, and power options for both PoE uh, and AC power. Uh, the enclosure is a ruggedized enclosure with an IP52 rating that allows for the integration of this unit into both indoor and sheltered outdoor environments. It also supports LLRP, so if you're interested in integrating RFID data into enterprise data collection platforms, uh, this unit can support that as well. What about the performance? You mentioned this is an enterprise class reader. Tell us a little bit about that. Right, so from a performance perspective, the M6 uh, reads tags up to 400 tags per second. It has a read range of over 30 feet and can operate at plus 5 to plus 31.5 dBm in both power over Ethernet and AC power modes, providing extreme flexibility for a wide range of applications. Excellent. So how is it that I can develop one application for this reader and have it work with the entire family of ThingMagic readers? So that's done with our Mercury API, uh, and that's one of the differentiators for ThingMagic, is that our underlying application programming interface uh, can be used to develop applications with both the M6 and our entire product family of finished and embedded readers. So can we go develop an application and put that to the test? Let's go do it. Excellent. Let's go do it. So, Ken, how do we develop an application that works across all of the readers? So we're here with my colleague, Couple Asher, and Couple is developing an application utilizing the ThingMagic Mercury API. He's got his laptop hooked up to our Mercury 6 reader and also our USB reader, uh, and we're going to be using these readers and others to track valuable IT assets through our environment. Wow, that sounds perfect. All right, well, let's see how it works. Let's go. To start, we've developed an application that will provide visibility to all of the RFID read points we've deployed to track our assets. This was simplified by using the ThingMagic Mercury API, allowing us to seamlessly interface with all of our reader products. The next step is tag selection. ThingMagic has a state-of-the-art approach to testing tags so we can help our customers choose the right tag for their application. Once the right tag is selected, it needs to be commissioned and applied to the item. Our tags are commissioned using the ThingMagic USB reader, which is well suited for desktop applications. Here we're commissioning an employee badge and an on-metal tag from Xerify using the application that was developed with our Mercury API. The on-metal tag is attached to our high-value asset, in this case a server from our IT facility. As the server is carried out of the office, a ThingMagic Astro reader identifies both the employee and the server. The identification and location data is passed on to our application. In this example, the Astra is mounted inside a pedestal portal from Jameson RFID. The reader could just as easily be ceiling mounted, mounted on the wall, or in a different type of enclosure. The server is then placed in a work van along with other boxed assets and delivered to another company location. 
The Thing Magic reader installed in the vehicle with the antenna mounted in the back identifies the driver and the IT asset. With integrated GPS, our solution could also plot the location of the vehicle and its contents as it is en route. So, Kent, we've selected the right RFID tags, we've placed those tags on our assets, we've commissioned them, and now we've shipped those assets from the other facility to here. What happens now? So, Lou, that's where the M6 comes into play. With support for four antennas, the M6 is ideal for dock door portal installations or for use in other portals where a wide area of coverage is required. The Thing Magic Astro Reader mounted overhead identifies our assets and employee as they are moved to their final destination, giving us even more useful data to help streamline our inventory management process. So you've delivered the server to its final destination and now you know its new location. That's right. Through our application, we have visibility to the location, the identification, and the timestamp data as our asset moved throughout its chain of custody. And this example is specific to IT asset tracking, but it could be applied to virtually any industry. Wow. Well, that certainly is a great example of how to use one application across the whole family of Thing Magic readers. Thank you, Ken. Thanks, Lou. If you are interested in enabling your solutions with finished or embedded UHF RFID readers from ThingMagic or with solutions powered by ThingMagic RFID, visit www.thingmagic.com or email sales at thingmagic.com. That wraps it up for this edition of the RFID Network. If you'd like more information on any of the products you've seen, please visit us on the web at rfid.net. Thanks for watching.